What is going on my friends and welcome back to another video on the channel. Now today I'm going to be bringing you five cryptos that I believe could easily 25 to 50 X. These are some that are all in their pre-launch phase, meaning that they're not launched yet, meaning that you have a ton of time to get your information, your due diligence done before possibly looking for opportunities to invest. And so with that in mind, guys, before we do get into it, make sure you do remember to go follow me over on Twitter at Tyler Hill YT. I'm constantly talking about these types of cryptos, talking about the ones that I'm looking at, investing in, finding interesting, dropping news things like that and as you can see by my bio i'm just here giving my opinion on companies that i like so if you do want to get even more information about cryptos just like that make sure you do go down to the link in the description and go follow me on twitter at tyler hill yt i am trying to build that up but with that in mind of course let's get started with the very first one of the day and we are talking about EC. Now, EC is actually going to be launching tonight, probably be about 12 hours from when this video goes live, maybe a little bit later. And what you can see is that they're creating a next gen Web3 marketplace. Now, this is a marketplace like you would expect. Of course, you can buy things like NFTs, but they're capitalizing on the real world asset or the RWA narrative, which is, in my opinion, the biggest and most important narrative of the 2024 bull market. What you can see here is that they're going to be providing a platform in which people can trade these RWAs, which isn't something we're seeing people really be able to capitalize on as of now. And as you can see here, they have already gotten their NFT marketplace live. So we do know, obviously, that they are capable of delivering. And I mean, their test net went absolutely insane. They are now in main net. But looking back at their test net statistics, 1.975 million connected wallets, over 766 million accumulated wallet assets, over 3.13 billion with a B dollars worth of transactions, over 9 million transactions, and over 858,000 test net active users. Absolutely nuts. Absolutely absolutely insane incredible statistics and the fact that they are now in their main net and coming soon with the real world assets coming soon with the tokens i do think they're going to be one of the biggest marketplaces in the world of crypto and they're already starting to prove that now they do as i mentioned before have their token launching later tonight and this thing has been going absolutely insane their iro sold out with over 250 thousand users that wanted to get an allocation at the same time which is an amount that i've just not seen yet this year and that's my that's the you know that's my reasoning as to why i believe this is going to be one of the hi most hyped and biggest launches of 2024 especially considering they're already at 384,000 followers and they haven't even launched yet so overall i mean this is definitely one of my easiest top picks it is one that i'm currently you know like i'm putting Frick, probably like top three, top five most excited about launches that I've been in a while. So I am very excited to see how this thing does play out. And they do earn the number one spot for the day. Now, moving into the next one of the day, we are going to be talking about B Millions. Now, B Millions is actually, quote unquote, the newest one that we're going to have on this list today. But because they are so new, it is one of the ones that I am the most excited about, just because I think the potential for upside from here is still huge. Now, what they're going to be doing is doing something that we saw work very well back in 2021. And that is capitalizing on the decentralized lot based system what you can see here is they're going to be offering a couple different things nft gated jackpots royalty power jackpots perpetual token jackpots and dow based difficulty now to go over what some of the jackpots are they're of course going to be major jackpots obviously and they say that with just a single nft lotto ticket you are able to play every day until the prize pool is won it's just you versus the other ticket holders in your round gone are the days of paying each week to play lottery pay once and play until it pays so basically you just pay once you buy one lottery ticket you hold that ticket until it eventually wins if it ever wins right and that's kind of interesting right it's not the same approach that we've seen most or basically maybe any of these lotto systems that i've seen ever and obviously you and i I know these lotto systems get real big in the bull market when people got that extra money they get real big now they have two different types they have closed jackpots and open jackpots the closed jackpots say that each round consists of only 11,111 nfts this means you are playing against another 11,110 other people to win the ultimate jackpot prize paid to your wallet in bitcoin each sold out round is valued at approximately 2.5 million usd so think about the excitement, the hype that's going to come from that with only 11,000 be people being able to get in on it. Absolutely nuts. Then there's open jackpots. They say that the open round jackpots have no maximum entries. NFT tickets are sold daily and the prize pool grows continuously until the pool is won. These rounds have no cap. Jackpots can be worth millions by the time it is won. So obviously this one's not capped, but it is a little bit more consistent. And the, I would say the quote unquote likelihood of winning is lower because it is a daily, uh, daily thing, if that makes sense. Now, what they also have are the minor jackpots, the smaller ones, and those are breaking down into holder only jackpots and loyalty jackpot so we'll go over these two we'll talk a little bit about the token and then we'll move on to the next one so what they say is that the jackpots grow continuously from aftermarket sales and once a cap is reached of approximately 125k a new jackpot is open you may play for any open minor jackpots and can play these jackpots daily so kind of a smaller version of this one sort of just based a little bit more off 
the aftermarket sales. And then lastly, of course, they have the loyalty jackpots. They say that their loyalty community of NFT ticket holders are rewarded through member-only jackpots. These jackpots can vary from tokens and cash prizes to real-world goods, products, and services. And this is going to be the one where I think people are going to consistently win. Like, you might be able to win this a couple times, and obviously that's going to generate the most of the hype, especially on a place like Twitter. Now, they do have some mini jackpots, and those are kind of based off of the Eternals, and then sponsor prizes and jackpots, but I think these two major, the major ones and the minor ones, are what's really going to be gaining, you know, kind of garnering the most attention and bringing them the most momentum. Now, as I did mention before, they are going to have a token that is going to be launching, and it is going to be the native token of this ecosystem, and they have been taking a lot of amazing steps in approaching that token launch, which they haven't announced the date of just yet, and what you can see here is, I mean, if you go over to their Twitter, it's just been update after update of them making the right steps, right? What you can see here is they got their website live. Boom. Then as they did, they went ahead and did that. They started to do some giveaways to build up the community. Boom. Then they got their KYC done. Boom. Then they went, of course, and they made the website actually live itself. Going forward, they got the Discord server going. Boom. Once they did that, they, they got the X account really started getting promoted and getting its name out there. And now they're at a spot in which they are going to be holding their liquidity bootstrapping event, in which is going to be kind of the determining factor of what the fully diluted valuation is and initial market cap and all of that important stuff for the token itself. And it will provide funding for them to continue development. So this is very early. As I mentioned before, they have a lot of steps to take here. But on the 13th of April, which is in a couple of days from now, their bootstrapping event will happen. And this is going to be super implicative of how the launch should go in terms of overall funding and stuff. So make sure you do follow them on Twitter so that you can stay on track with that because that is exactly what I'm going to be doing. So that's number two for the day. Really cool lottery based system. They are very early. They're making a lot of names and waves right now. It does seem as if their team is deep within the ecosystem because they got all the way towards me. And so because of that, obviously, I wanted to bring them to you as my number to pick of the day and do remember my picks aren't in a certain order they're just randomly placed okay now moving on to the next one we are talking about x swap and they are doing something that i think is incredibly important so as i mentioned before their name is x swap and they're going to be creating the first cross-chain swap protocol powered by the chain link ccip now if you don't know what the chain link ccip is it's the cross-chain interoperability protocol which is powered by Chainlink, the big company chain link that allows different blockchains to interact with each other across chain you guys know i do believe that in this world of crypto with our goal being mass adoption we need to see a little bit more unity within the space and being able to interoperate and being able to see you go from Binance to Ethereum to Arbitrum to whatever it may be is extremely important in my opinion because people need to be able to interact across chains without feeling too isolated to one individual one. It's a team effort and these types of cross-chain protocols are what allow this to happen. Now, they're going to be creating the first one again that is powered by the CCIP and the thing is already in its beta. You can see here, for example, you can go in and go from, you know, say Ethereum over to Polygon or Ethereum over to Base or whatever whatever you could think of, right? Let's go Arbitrum to Avalanche, right? And they have been seeing a lot, and I'm talking about a lot of transactions happening already just on the beta. The other day I retweeted this, so that's why you should go follow me on Twitter, that there was a $1 million transfer in one transaction on their platform alone. So they're already catching the eye and catching the attention of major wells. And the fact that they're the first one that is powered by the CCIP puts them in a position in which I think that it will be extremely advantageous because they're having like that first mover approach. Even though cross-chain swaps are already available in the world of Web3, being the first one powered by the CCIP is different because the CCIP is incredibly trustworthy. And I think that's why they're already catching so much attention from these major wells. And so because of that, this one is easily, I'm talking easily one of my top picks, and they will have their token launching very, very soon here. Now, speaking of the token, they will have, again, the XSwap token, in which its primary role is going to hold as governance, being the native token of the platform that will provide a little bit more incentives and things like that as you do interact with the platform. But what they say here is that the very essence of XSwap's governance lies in its native token. Token holders are not just protocol members. They play an active role in the protocol's decision-making process. By holding the XSwap token, they earn the right to participate in and shape the future directly direction of the platform. Further details regarding the DAO mechanisms will be introduced in the near future, and we don't have a ton of information on the token just yet, but I'm paying very, very close attention to it because, again, being one of these first movers in this space is extremely important and often leads to very good reward rewards, especially when you're having the type of revol results that they're already having, as we have seen. Now, moving into the next one of the day, we are talking about D-Gen Distillery, another one, of course, that hasn't launched yet, that is taking an approach that we saw very popularized within um, 2020. 
Now, 2021 was a little bit ahead of its time, right? We saw a lot of these companies try the RWA narrative. They tried to bring things to the real world, whether it be products or services or even investing in things like real estate. But realistically, it was just a little bit too young. Most protocols and software couldn't handle that type of, you know, that type of idea. And now we're at a point in which we can. What they're going to be doing is trying to combine the world of alcoholic beverages and the world of crypto into one. Now, the way they're starting with this is by creating, of course, Degen Distillery that is going to be powered by their native drink token, which we'll talk about in a second, to help bring incentives and rewards to not only just the drink holders as, you know, from the world of crypto, but also give them incentives in the real world that are a little bit more alcoholic beverage based. Now, they're also creating their own vodka, which is 721, that they say is the vodka to change the game. They say that it's a vodka crafted for the next generation of creators, innovators, and disruptors to claim as their own. The name 721 pays homage to ERC721, which is the groundbreaking token standard that herated the dawn of digital collectibles, sparking a revolution in the way we perceived and interact with assets. Now, as a little bit of a celebration of the launch of 721, they're going to be taking it over to three Friday nights at Goodwood, which of course is massive within the space, over 40,000 guests, and they are actually going to be the exclusive vodka across three Friday nights and their entire summer calendar of races for the next three years. So think about the amount of exposure over the course of three years. Now, as I mentioned before, they are going to be launching the drink token, in which they say the native drink token stands as the cornerstone of their community. Intertwining digital prowess with real world utility, its versatile use cases are the gateway to a plethora of benefits, seamlessly blurring the lines between virtual and tangible experiences. And so, as I mentioned before, they're not just making promises that they're going to take the world of the, the distillery world and bring it into crypto, like we saw a lot of people in 2021 promise they would do, but never really pull it off. They're already pulling it off they're already doing it and they're already rewarding their holders that you know or they're already rewarding their community by giving them access and things like that even before the launch ever happens and when we do see the launch happen and when there are holders the incentives and the rewards are only going to go up more and more which in my opinion they are one of again kind of like one of the first movers that's actually making this happen which is why they are on my radar why they are one that i'm going to invest into and why i am adding them to the list today so make sure you do go check them out over on twitter at again let's see what their twitter thing is at just the distillery now moving into the last one of the day we have a very exciting one and that is katamoto now katamoto is the only meme coin on today's list they don't usually make my top five top six list when we're talking about like pre-launches and stuff but this one is a bit of an exception now the reason this one is a bit of an exception is because it is actually being powered by tencent now I don't know if you know who Tencent IO is. You might be new here, but Tencent IO, especially over the last few years, has been one of, if not the biggest launch pads to bring some of the biggest gains that we have ever seen within the world of crypto consistently. And I mean consistently. You can see here, Meta Hero, 16,000%. Conga, 1,800%. Everdome, 9,000%. Fame MMA, 30,000%. Alvara, 2,000% just this year. They had Farcana of 1,800%. Ivan Pay, 700% absolutely going insane and this is the very first meme coin that they're going to be bringing to the platform they say that their official partner bnb chain has provided an official statement about a meme coin event to support their ecosystem and called on us for support they answered this call and combined their forces with the meme coin that has the most perspective perspective crazy tokenomics followed by the beautiful narration that fits tense's tradition and ideology katamoto has a very ambitious plan to reach the top 100 cmc project and with the amount of backing and with the amount of partnerships and people that they know i think that you know top 100 cmc especially at its peak wouldn't be something that is out of the out of the realm of possibilities and i do genuinely believe that now looking at their website itself you can see that there are a lot of hidden messages within here right you can see c z four which of course you guys know cz was tweeting four a ton whenever there was a bunch of binance fud so you see these little small hidden easter eggs and not all of them have been explained yet but they are going to kind of pile together at some point that i think are going to paint a really big picture once we do get a little bit more information from them but one interesting thing that they do say here is that kata or their native token cata is changing the rules of meme coins by using superior cat math to create the most advanced smart contract in the world now i don't know what that means or what that entails and obviously we will get more information as we move forward but it is interesting to see that they are somewhat taking a little bit of an approach in which it seems as if they're diverging a bit from the meme coin path by providing some type of special utility which we'll obviously just have to learn about in the future here now there are a couple ways in which you can get involved that we'll go over in a second but i want to talk a little bit about some of the partnerships because again this is what is at the core of a meme coin that will get them to where they need to go the only way for a meme coin to be successful is having a big network a lot of money and a lot of partners and this shows they have that they have eight terminal they have bluezilla i mean they have bs 
USC Pat, some of the biggest names in the space, Avstar Capital, MM Pro Trust, Blue Moon, um, Gym Capital Classes Forever, Autonomy Capital, Capital Investment and Fund, I mean, Seed Thrift, and it goes on and on and on and on. They have the partnerships, they have the funding, they have the network, they have the interesting take, right? That little side small thing that makes them unique and different in which their approach and which they are taking. And of course, because of that, I do think that they are going to be one of those ones that does extremely well, especially because we know the history behind Tencent. Now, there are a couple ways in which you can pack on a train. Of course, they say that they have the Tencent Launchpad, which you can get involved in. They have the Tencent Infinity Stakers, in which you can get involved with. Tencent Token Holders, which you can get involved with. Or, of course, the Zeely, of which they say that access to this round is for users who participate in the Zeely campaign and complete some simple tasks to support the project. So this one's a little bit easier. And that snapshot is in 14 or in four days on April 14th. So that is the one that I would definitely check out if you are trying to get in on this thing. But it's going to basically be starting from tomorrow all the way up until the 15th to be able to get on board with this. And you bet your ass, this is exactly what I'm going to be doing. I'm getting on board in every single way that I possibly can. And so with that in mind, that makes up the list for today. We had EC, we had B Millions, we had XWAP, DGen Distillery, and Katamoto to conclude our five cryptos of the day. So let me know what you think about these down below. Were any of these on your radar already? Are any of these now on your radar? Let's chit chat down there. You guys know I'm always available in the comments. So I will see you there and I can't wait to see you next time. Peace out, everybody.